ほんまに風間の親父がそう言ったんかああうん一体何が目的なんだ事件に絡んでいることだけは間違いねえんだが。どうしたまだいたのかいえ兄貴俺には何が何だか分からなくなってますあのヒゲの男どうして俺を助けてくれたんでしょうか親父を撃ったやつなのにどうして俺を力也お前は一旦沖縄に帰れえ俺はこっちでまだやることがあるだがお前には今やるべきことがなくなったはずだででもいいから言うことを聞いてくれ今はまだあの絵の男が俺たちの敵なのか味方なのかわからない今は沖縄に帰って先や朝顔の連中の面倒を見てやってほしい分かったかはい。どうした何博王会の会長がおい、キリュウ。どうも白鵬会の峰が直接お前に会いたいとここに来ているようなんだが。まさかカムロ町の地下にこんな場所があったなんて驚きですそれで俺に話とはああすみません実は今回のごたごたうちの組も少なからず影響していたのでその責任をと思いまして責任ええすましとかをしとんじゃ、おみね。なんとか言うたらどうなんじゃ、おこれ。兄貴、ここはうちの事務所ですよ。少しは気使ってください。社会者ボケ、おのれがちんたらしとるから、キリュウの青がうちに攻め込んできたやろが。幹部会で言ったでしょ。別に俺はキリュウさんに牙向けるつもりはない。あなたが喧嘩ふっかけるようなことするから。こんなことになるんですああ、おのれみたいな西洋かぶりの説教なんじゃ聞きたないんじゃこらあなたが今壊したコレクション全部で10億は下りませんよそれがどないしたおのれは金だけは腐るほど持っとるやろが金の問題じゃないその価値がわからないことが問題なんですよ
何やと成り上がりの分際でおのあなたに一つ言ってなかったことがあります私こう見えても結構強いんですよおおおおおおみんなあんたとの縁もこれまでだ俺は桐生さんにぎり通してきます<笑>ここで殺すなこれ以上部屋を汚したくないはい神田のような男必要以上に大きくしてしまったのは私です手洗い方法を取りましたが錦山組の一件これでけじめとさせてくださいは私は今のうちに登場会の直径を集めて事態の収拾を図ります浜崎に関しても白鵬会で行方を追っていますまあ探したところで見つからないでしょうけど奴の行き先に心当たりでもあるのかええおそらく日本にはいないでしょうねどういうことだジャカ日本支部の総統だったラウ・カーロンが死んだ当然中国のジャカ本部は黙っちゃいませんラウと共に行動していた浜崎は彼らの手によって拘束されているに違いありません浜崎以外の組員は横浜港から死体で上がったという話ですしねジャカがどちらにしても白鵬会が手を出すまでもなく浜崎組は消滅するでしょう私としては中国と戦争にならないようジャカ本部と早々に手打ちするつもりですそうか桐生さんは崩壊しかけた登場会にとって今一番必要な人ですくれぐれもお体にお気をつけてそれでは峰お前はそういう教育をされたのかどういう意味ですかうちわの落とし前大悟がそんなつけ方を命令するかってことだ多分しないでしょうだったらお前だが命令する大悟さんはいないこの落とし前私の判断私のやり方ですそれに桐生さんこういう事態を招いた責任あなたにもあるんじゃないですか大悟さんに以前聞きましたよ沖縄で養護施設を営んでらっしゃるんですってのんきな人だ自分が背負った立場が分かってないボランティアでもされている気分なんでしょうね意味のないことを偽善だ何とにかく私は私の判断でドライに行動しますやり方はどうであれ私は大悟さんの意思を継いでいるつもりですよ。ミネ、お前。つまり、私の行動のすべては、登場界の未来のためにあるということです。大悟さんもそれで納得するはずです。そのためには阻害するものはすべて排除します。たとえそれが、身内であろうと。私には分かりませんどうして大悟さんがあなたみたいな人を大事にしているのか
ミネお前何か見失ってるぜ<笑>何をですそれは俺がいつか教えてやるあなたから教わることなんか何もありませんよ That was a lot to take in! <laughs> okay. Didn't think Mine was the kind of guy to slaughter one of his own like that. Pretty fucking brutal. When you say Kitty Chan, <laughs> these candles out of her hair? And I was like, he's probably fish bait by now. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, you cut up Kanda, put him in a briefcase. And I was like, eh, well, you know, nothing lost really. No piggy! <laughs> And Nikki is in the back just like, what the fuck? I mean, it's all over. Everyone who was trying to rub you and Daigo out of the picture is finished. Yeah. Well, not exactly. Amazaki was a traitor, there's no question about that. And thanks to the snake flower, he and his family are no more. But that doesn't mean this is the end. There's still that man who looks like Kazuma. I doubt he would have put a bullet in Daigo just for the hell of it. Meaning someone's probably giving him orders. That's the only explanation for him shooting Nakahara and stealing the land deed, too. He can't be working alone. So then I. Amazaki's the most obvious suspect since he was after control of both the resort and the Tojo. <laughs> But this is the Kazuma guy who was working for Hamazaki. Why would he go out of his way to save Kiryu and Nikia?、Mm. There's still tons of question marks here. Kiryu. Kiryu. I'm gonna try and find out what happened to Hamazaki. Flores, do me a favor and look into Mine and the Hakuho clan while I'm gone. Mine?、Eh? Ah. At this point, Tojo leadership has been practically decimated. Majima and Mine are the only two left standing. No. You implying I got a horse in this race? <laughs> this fucking face. <laughs> If I was, I sure wouldn't have said it to your face.、Ah. Alright. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> See what I can dig up on the Hakuo clan. <laughs> That Kazuma look alike. Speaking of Kazuma and Oya san, his family is leaderless now that Kashiwagi san is gone. Think you can step up in his place, Majima Nani san? Oh, and be careful. I'm sure some of the other families will try to take advantage of the power vacuum this creates. I. Sure. You got a Kiryu Jen. Kiryu, let me know the second you learn anything. I will. Well, all that's left to do now is put this plan into action. We'll be in touch. Oh, no. <laughs> Guess I got a date with the Kazuma family. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. And my two homies are off. <laughs> first things first, I gotta make sure Dikia gets back to Okinawa. The least I can do is see him to a taxi. Oi, oi. What are you gonna do with a kid, Kiryu? I'm sending him home. It's too dangerous for him to stay here. So then, Agreed. You might want to at least take him to the taxi after all he's been through, though. It's only fair.、Mm. I was planning on it. Hi, Dikia. All right, Dikia. It's time to for you to go back. Yeah. Come on. I'll take you over to the taxi. If we leave now, we should be able to get you on the next flight down. It's okay, Aniki. I can go on my own. Bell. Barely any time has passed since the snake flower tree had tried to murder you, Dikia. You shouldn't be out on by yourself. Not yet. Yeah, I guess you're right. Let's go. Hmm. <clears throat> I spent most of that time watching cutscenes and my throat's already dry, bruh. <laughs> Should we look for some keys, Dikia?、Mm. I just saw Mine, chairman of the Hako clan. I didn't know I used this place to. You know Mine? Of course. Mine's famous among the Yakuza. He's young, but even at his age, he was somehow able to become an executive of the Tojo clan. I haven't seen much of him recently, but I guess he's busy. What with the sixth chairman getting shot and all. But there's gonna be trouble soon. Alright. Now, there are keys down here. I've got to find them. Uh, 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 uh. Let's try to see him. Will it let me in? Yes. Anikia! This is the Coliseum. I find men here. 
I got lock key number 35. Hi, hi, sir. Hi, hi, sir. I've hardly moved. You're stuck. <laughs> Rikia. Rikia. Rikia is stuck. Come here. This way. This way. That's it. There you go. <laughs> Who's that guy? Hey you. I got some good stuff over here. You interested? Oh you're a shop. Right. I remember now. I'm good, thanks. You sure? Well, come again sometime. I will. I gotta get this boy home. Yep. <laughs> eh. Oh, Mac! Kiryu-san! The perfect shot's practically staring me in the face these days. And I like how it looks. Pretty sure I'm gonna beat you to the punch, haha. <laughs> anyway, I heard this little tidbit and just had to share. Apparently there's a ninja in Kamarucha hiding it out, headed out pocket tissues on Nakamichi Street. It's like we're extras in a real life samurai flick. Man, what I'd give to be on the silver screen, see my name in, up in lights. I could just imagine how um, it now. Mac, bigger, better, and badder. Well, good luck getting that, a shot of that ninja. Hope she's not too quick for your shutter. Okay, thank you, Mac. I'm seriously peeved at the lack of keys I'm finding. Oh my goodness. Guess this is a goodbye for now. Ikea, this taxi will take you to the airport. Make sure you get on your flight, okay? Aniki. Aniki, I... I'll be fine. Just make sure Nakahara and the kids are safe. After all, we still don't know who we're up against. Sounds like this whole thing is out of the Tojo clan's hands at the very least. And with Nakahara still in the hospital, you're the only one those kids can rely on. Same goes for the Diodo family. They're all counting on you, Dikia. Uh. Right. I won't let them down. Anyway, I guess it's time for me to go. Try keeping yourself out of harm's way, okay, Anaki? Mm. I'll be home soon. I do have to get Taichi his manga. Oh. Mush mush. Uh-huh. So da. Anta wa. Boe daijin no Tamiya da. Tamiya da to. Oh. 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 だが同時は第五が倒れた後東条会内部にいる鈴木と繋がっていた勢力が再び動き出してしまったそれで俺は急いでBMDキチ拡大法案を通さなければならなくなったどういうことだあんたが法案を通そうとしたから異造と開発が
Either way, it looks like someone from the Tojo clan is pulling- is still pulling the strings in all this. Tamiya also mentioned some kind of third party being involved. He asked me to come to the Diet Building and talk to him in person. I'm about to head over. To the Diet Building? How are you gonna get there? He's sending a driver over. Apparently we're meeting in front of the Millennium Tower. Wait, Kiryu. Take me with you. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. So, wanna meet up outside the Millennium Tower? And risk making Tamiya's drive suspicious? Probably not a good idea. Let's head over there together, okay? Where are you now? At Serena, as always. I'll see you out front. Mm. It might take a while, cause I'm gonna do shit. <laughs> <laughs> Some stories like, I got stuff to do, man. Busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy, busy. Mm. You can't trust Suzuki or Tamiya. Both of them talked about expanding the military base and building a resort around a year ago, and it fell through. <sighs> It'll be the same this time, too. You can be sure they're still going to do anything to help- They're still not going to do anything to help the homeless. Mm. Oi, Orm. Mac? <laughs> Mac? Let me talk to Mac! <laughs> okay. Oh. What's Craig a lecking, kitty Sam? Oh, I need to go get your revelation as well. But what's up, Mac? I, uh... Not much, Mac. You ever get that perfect shot you were looking for? Can't say I did. I've been scouring every last corner of this town, but all I've come up with is big fat fistfuls of nothing. Sorry to hear that. I guess you can't expect opportunity to just fall into your lap, though. Let me know if I can help. Appreciate that to heaven and high above, Kiryu-san. Hey, by the way, you mentioned some place you wanted to take me last time. Think you can elaborate? Oh, oh snap, Kiryu-san! That whole thing just up and slipped my mind. You bet I'll elaborate. It's the hippest, swankiest, rough and tumblest join this set of this side of the sea of Japan. And yours truly just so happens to have a buddy bringing home the bacon over there. You're saying he works there, right? Yeah! Dang Skippy! Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you that what it's called. Purgatory. Kind of scary sounding, huh? Did you just say purgatory? Yeah! Look, I know the name kind of gives you the heebie-jeebies, but don't doubt good old Mac. I haven't breathed a, sw a sweeter sip of air than when I first stepped foot in that place. Anyway, I get the feeling my perfect shards just around the corner. And by around the corner, I of course mean through some weird door in a bathroom store. <laughs> well, kitty son, gotta run. I'll tell my purgatory pal you're coming, and stop by if you can muster up the courage. <clears throat> okay. Wait, Mac. He's... something. Guess I could swing by Purgatory when I have the time. I have the time. Oh, there he is, right over there. Hanging around Majima's, uh, office, quote-unquote. Majima Gumi. Hold on there, Mac. Let me save. I have a feeling you're gonna put me through the ringer. I still miss my money, but okay. Kiryu-san! Kiryu-san! Just the guy I wanted to see, and conveniently one of my- one of the only dudes who even knows about this place. Yeah. Here I am. Okay! Well, without further ado, it's time to you to, It's time you get acquainted with the friend I was telling you about. Come on out here, Okuda-san! Hi, man. Hey, Mac. This the guy? Hold on a second. You're one of the ma one of Majima's men, aren't you? I, uh, oh, Kiryu-san! Max said his new pal was a tough cookie, but I'd never, I would have never guessed it'd be you. Anyway, the name's Okuda. I supervise the construction around here. Though, you can see there hasn't been much of that going on of late. Oh! Hold up, you two know each other? Oh, uh, Mac, this guy, he's the dr- You can stop right there. Uh, of course, sir. Oh. Man, I just knew you two get along like peas in a pod. Heck, you're practically wearing the same threads, too. <laughs> <laughs> Always the optimist. So, what are we doing here? The whole place looks kind of... Deserted. Good job, Majima. <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> Empty. Maybe for now. Bring it out, Okudazan. Aye, aye, Mac. Training formation A, move out! 
っしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃーっしゃ All for making his perfect shot. My boys have been working their routines, trying to get the setup just right. I had no idea you'd be lending a hand with this, too, Kiryu san. It hit me like a flash of light into the skull when I saw the way you run Kiryu san. It was like, I don't know why, but it felt like you were gonna be my one way ticket to that perfect shot I've been after. So, my mind running some more, you know? You mind running some more, you know? Uh, get the camera juices flowing? I guess I, it couldn't hurt. In this town, you never know when you might need to chase someone down. Am I just going to be running by myself, though? There's the 10 billion yen question. <coughs> Mac. The thick and thin of it is, Kiryu san. I'm going to be run, run, running away. And I want you to catch, catch, catch me. You sure? I'm pretty fast, you know. <laughs> no problem at all. I used to live out among a herd of gazelle on the <laughs> plains, and my being here is proof enough that I run every line I ever came across. <laughs> Wait, is he African or not African American? Why am I confused? Mac! That's an interesting way to train. I know. Like, okay, Mac, alright. Anyway, sure. I'll help you get this perfect shot. You will? Thank you. Oh, thank you, cutie, sir. Just give me a holler when you want to run. If you beat me, I'll teach you some of the most e esoteric secrets I learned from in my world travels. <laughs> I can't think of a better reward. Looking forward to it, Mac. <coughs> Now we've got Max training to do, so let's... I'm gonna save again so I don't have to do all that again if I die. <laughs> And, uh, hi, Okada. Oh, kid you soon. Hey, Okada. I think I'm gonna need to train again, if you don't mind. Oh, no problem at all. Construction's not slated to start, well, technically ever. So we're in the clear, I'm sure the boss will be thrilled to lend you a hand too. I have to say, I never thought Mac's friend would end up being a Majima family henchman. You two make an interesting pair. <laughs> You'd be surprised how often we hear that. Wanna know how we first met? I was at a smoky bar in a back alley in Kamurocha. I'd been arguing with the old ball and chain back home, so I was sulking hard. Went the only place I knew I could get some peace and quiet. But then some guy started going off about a foreigner who spoiled it, spilled a drink on him. Clearly this asshole was just trying to pick a fight with the out-of-towner. I don't know if it was my mood or because it was my turf, but I felt obligated to help the poor foreigner out. And as you might have guessed, the foreigner was Mac. We got to talking right after, and he spent the rest of the night regaling me with tall tales of all the places around the world he's gone searching for the perfect shot. I guess we just hit it off, you know? Makes sense, too. I've got a pretty big... I've got a pretty big travel bug myself. That's incredible. <laughs> Long story short, we always got get together and toss a few back when Mac's in town. And now I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get him... to help him get the shot he's been after all these years. Anyway, feel free to come by whenever you want. Thanks, Okida. Yeah, cool story. Howdy there, Kiryu-san. What flavor of Mac you looking for today? Let's go with training A. Okie dokie. We're ready to groove, Okida-san. Just one second. Oh boy. You pumped for this, Kiryu-san? Well, you better be. I got a big honk in prison for you if you can smash the record. Good luck! Oh boy. I gotta catch him in under 45 seconds then. Woo! Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> One more should do it. Dang it! Ah, come on!
No. Dang it. Oh, no, you're joking. No. He's fast as fuck, boy. Can I, 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 one last technique for you. Got this special from an Irish Wiccan in the Emerald Fields. Or was it a hippie in California? You could smell the peace mobile coming a mile away, let me tell you. Anyway, breathe in extra deep and keep that air on lockdown up in your lungs. Channel you in a hippie, you know? And that's all you gotta do. Your chase gauge has been increased. This will let you continue chase sequences for longer than before. Pop on by when you want to run again. Um... You can get things if you improve your time. Hold on. We won't worry about it, though. How did that kid you sound? What flavor of Mac you looking for? You. We flipping the script on this one. Instead of you coming for me, it'll be me biting at your ankles. Escape to win. Okay. Okie dokie. We're ready to groove, okie san Just a second. Okay. <coughs> you pump for this kid you sound? Well, you better be. I'll give you a beautiful little present if you beat me out there. Good luck. Beautiful. Keep running until your pursuer is too tired to keep chasing you. If the pursuer's energy gauge runs out before yours does, you win. The pursuer's energy gauge will gradually decrease during the chase. Ah, oh, shit. No, 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 no. No! Oh my god, Max, so fast! <laughs> I fucked up! Oh my god, this is a fucking dead end! Well, I've fucked it. Keep running, you bleeding idiot! <laughs> Track well enough. The mag tag is back in action. <laughs> Damn, I lost. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Make so fast. Too bad, so sad. Looks like Mac came out on top. Damn it. I'll get you next time. Right now. No, 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 Keep your mitts off me, mate. No, <laughs> I can't keep running. Wow, 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 wow. Too bad, so sad. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. You was going to ride the net. What? No, 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 no. No, 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 he's almost out of path. I don't need to go much longer. Come on. Go 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 go! Yeah, I'm all out of juice. Looks like my goose is cooked. Woo! Holy fuck! You really burnt my rubber out there, Kitty San. Knew if anyone's gonna run me down, it was you. Guess it's time I teach you my signature Mac tackle. Some people try to combine the two, call it a mackle, but I don't talk to those people anymore. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> this will boost the oomph you can put in your tackle. You'll be dragging guys down like you were born to do it. The tackle power has increased. This will make your tackles hit harder when you strike an opponent. 
Oh, and I got a nice little present for you, too. Bow and everything. Collapsible hammer. Bow, 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 when you want to run again. I will in a minute. Hold on. <laughs> All right. How do that, kitty sound? What flavor of Mac you looking for today? This one's got curves for days, man. I'll warn you, catching me is going to take every last trap you've got in the tank. All right. Okie dokie. All righty. <clears throat> you pumped for this kitty sound? Well, you better be. I got a big honking present for you if you can smash the record. Good luck. Oh, boy. Shit! Fuck no! Ah! You guys. Got him, Mofo. Uh, you really burn my rubber out there, Kitty San. I knew if anyone was going to run me down, it was you. Let me hit you with another breathing technique. I think I learned this from a guru out in the forest of India. Or was it a witch doctor in Tanzania? Eh, doesn't matter. Anyway, all you gotta do is breathe even deeper than last time. Fill those lungs till it feels like you're gonna pop. Then you're golden. Your chase gauge has increased. Thank you, Mac. There's one more. Let's do it. Ultimate training. You ready to see my final form? Not really. Not really. Okie dokie. Are you ready to groove? Okay, design. Okay, let's go. You pumped up for this, kitty son? Well, you better be. I got a big honking present for you if you can smash the record. Good luck. I haven't broken any records doing this. What the shit in there? What Shit. I got caught on it. My foe. Way up. Oh, man. Come on! 
Goodness. Oh, Arida. Huh? You really burned my rubber out there, Kitty-san. I knew if it was gonna burn me down, it was you. You know, I got this fancy breathing technique I could teach you. Think I learned it from the monks in Tibet. Or well, maybe it was the shamans of the Amazon? Eh, whatever. Anyway, all you gotta do is breathe in real deep. Imagine you're a fleshy balloon full of nothing but clean mountain air, and then you're done. That is <laughs> just breathe deep. Pop on by when you want to run again. Okay, I don't want to keep going, but I'll tell you all the prizes. Radiant blade for training A if you beat the record. Collapsible hammer, which we already got, and for uh training C, it's Majima's order form, which I have no idea what that does. I might actually have it. Actually, I do not have it. Dang. Oh well. And then for the ultimate training, it's Max Talisman, which I guess maybe helps you with stamina or something. Maybe it keeps it from running down. I don't know. We're not going to try too hard. We're going to carry on with the game, because that took longer than I thought. <laughs> Looks like Temia's driver isn't here yet. I should swing by Serena and grab Date-san. No, I'm busy, 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 man. Oh, hello. I know. Excuse me. Aren't you kitty san It's me, Kitagawa! The Mars Fighters, remember? Uh, you helped me... You helped set me straight back in... Oh, wait. You helped set me straight back in Siltenbori about two years back? K Kitagawa? Mars Fighter? Oh, right. You really saved my bacon! I killed it at the Grand Prix and I finally hit it big in Tokyo. Glad to hear it. You back in Kamurucho on personal business? Huh? No, I'm on the clock, buddy! We're shooting a drama right nearby. What? Do I look like I'm on vacation, Kitty-san? Well, I thought you always worked with a partner, but I don't see him around. Oh, you mean Minimizawa? Yeah, things aren't exactly going smooth there. Something happened? Well, everything was great when we debuted as the Mars Fighters, but a year back, about six months after, Minimizawa up and vanished. He didn't leave you any kind of clue about where he was going? Not a one. Honestly, doing variety show gigs in Tokyo isn't exactly a glamorous life, so maybe he decided enough was enough. Me, I'll take whatever work pays the bills, but you know how many Mizawa was set on sticking to Manzai comedy. I remember, yeah. Since he left, I've been getting by on talk show appearances and TV dramas, but I'm worried about the guy. Whenever I get a break between gigs, I pick up the search for him again. Just yesterday, I heard someone spotted him in Kamurocho, so here I am. But, well, no sign of him. I want to do a man's eye comedy with him again. But until I can, I've got to keep working, so our audience never forgets the mass fighters. I see. Look, Kirisa, if you spot me in his hour around town, you want to give me a call? Take my number for this for one and one of his recent picks. Hmm? All right. I'll call you if I find Minimizawa. Thanks. Thank you so much. Kitagawa-san, it's almost time. Ah, oh, jeez, already? Okay, I've got, got a shoot coming up, so I've got to run. Sorry to drag you into this, but please, keep an eye out for him. Will do. And then I get a text. Oh! No? No, that's an enemy. Never mind. Wait. Whoa, there we go. There he is. Hey, are you? Kitty-san, is that really you? It's me. You know me. Jeez, I haven't seen you in ages. Remember? I'm in Mizawa from the Mars Fighters. We got out of that mess together two years ago, right? It was your mess to begin with. Hey, don't just shut me down. At least do it with a solid comeback, would you? Like, you two would... The ones who messed with me. Get some wordplay in there. Well, you haven't changed much. Anyway, I heard you've been missing for about half a year. Where'd you hear that? I ran into Kitagawa earlier. You got him worried. He's been looking for you. 
Hey, hold on a sec. Is that true? Hmm. Once Kitagawa heard Minamizawa was in Kamurocho, he dropped everything and came straight here. Hey, Minamizawa, buddy, you probably ought to head back, huh? Sounds like Kitagawa's worried sick about you. That's right, man. You don't have to be stubborn. Just go find your friend, apologize, and get back to being a team. Get off my back! Um, I'm Minimizawa, the Mars fighter. Why should I apologize to my equal, my partner, just because we ain't a team anymore? Besides, now that I'm gone, Kitagawa's doing better than ever. Even if I went back, there's no way our old agency would let us get back together. I'm just dragging him down. Man... It's clear Kitagawa wants to do Manzai with Minamizawa. Maybe I'll give him a call. Hey, hold it! Kiryu-san, you're not gonna call Kitagawa, are you? That's what I promised him. Now that I've found you, I have to let him know. I can't let you do that! Man, I... I can't face him right now! Fine. If you're so set on calling him, I guess I've got no choice. Sorry, Kiryu-san. But it's time for the real punchline. What? Are we fighting? Oh, we're fighting. This music seems fitting. Why didn't you guys help me? Have you seen this guy? He ain't just some street thug. Only you'd be stupid enough to pick a fight with a real beast, Minimizawa. Why do I even pay you guys? Hey, Kitagawa. I found Minimizawa. Pretty easily. We're around West Park. You'll see us when you get here. Oh, how am I going to face Kitagawa now? There's nothing more wor worthless than a manzai comedian who can't manzai. Kitagawa knows exactly how you feel. What? Kitagawa's always wanted to do more manzai, just like you. He's been looking for you for all this time. Kiryu-san, you gotta help me. Would you play the straight man to my funny man? After so long out of the game, my comedy edge might have gone rusty. I gotta sharpen up. If I can't even hack a joke, I'll never be able to look Kitagawa in the eye again. Why me? I'm begging you, man. I don't want to run away anymore. I'm gonna get back into comedy if it kills me. Please! You're my last chance to get my man's eye groove back. Just this once. Thanks a million. Here we go. Give me something snappy, reactive, you know what I mean? Did I ever tell you I've been training for a marathon across Japan? <laughs> I don't want to give a comeback to that. So... <laughs> I don't know! Oh no, hold on. I'm worried. I don't want to fuck it up. Hold on. So... <laughs> Kitty, you ain't a comedy man. So... Gah! That one stung. It's a distant comeback, huh? Well, I guess that one's technically a classic. Yeah, the brutal comeback deserves a reward. Hey! <laughs> what the? What are you doing? Oh, well, I... You told me I was the only straight man you'd ever need. The Gawa. That's the only reason I've been on these stupid dramas and talk shows. I don't want anyone to forget the Mars Fighters. All it took was a couple blogs saying we can't improv or our reactions were too weak and you just ran off. I thought... I thought you wanted to do Manzai with me. And I ain't give up after one or two schmucks heckless. The Gawa, I... I... I want to do Manzai with you again. Would you be my partner just one more time? Stand up, Minimizawa. You'll always be my partner. Kitagawa! Oh. And so the duo's friendship turned to love. Their married couple style manzai routine gave birth to years of joyous laughter. <laughs> oh, we didn't do that. <laughs> Wait. Why am I still getting married to you? Oh crap! <laughs> Kitty-san, this will be the second time you saved. <laughs> Thanks for everything. 
Hey, we make a pretty good team. Maybe we ought to form a comedy trio. What do you say? Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll head back to the office. Time to convince my agent to let us get back the band back together. Oh, and take this. It's the least I can do to thank you. Now I've got two. <laughs> I can sell it. Thanks, kitty san Watch out for us, because the Mars fighters are aiming for the stars. See you around. I have two now. <laughs> that was something. That was something. Oh, my God. And then I get a text. The weapons nut Hirano stopped by. He's been so busy tinkering with our weapons here at the Dragon Palace that he's forgotten all about the girls at the bikini bar. And the owner of this of the place is so thankful for your for our help. The only problem is Hirano is collecting the strangest weapons you've ever seen. We have no idea how to use them. We're also we're almost rid of those thugs thanks to the, all the bouncers you've recruited for us. I think just one more would do the trick. And there's just so happens to be a guy I had my eyes on. His name is Gatling Sendo. He's a, he was a pro boxer, but he got banned from competition because he was just too strong. If the Dragon Palace could get him, you wouldn't have to recruit any more bouncers for us. I hear he's been losing himself in booze and babes since he was banned. A good place to start is MEB. You know, the, the place that provides info on Kamarucho. Get him and your job's done. Okay, I can do that. MEB. MEB. The boxer Gatlin Sendo should be around here somewhere. That guy? Hey, what the hell are you trying to pull? You call that Amazon you sent me it? Sent me to a girl? But Sendo san, you saw her photo and picture out yourself. Yeah, some fine photo editing that was. That girl you showed me in that photo was nothing like the atrocity I saw once I got there. Just who do you think you're messing with, huh? I'm the prize fighter Gatlin Sendo. And your face is going to be my next punching bag. I found him. So that's Gatling Sendo, huh? Hey, are you Sendo? Ooh. Yeah? Who are you? Some kind of pitch man or barker or... What do you call those guys who promote all those clubs? I wanted to talk to you. Got a minute to spare? Like hell I do. I'm still trying to get over this hideous monstrosity they introduced me to. So leave me alone. Oh. Told you I was mad enough already, you jerk off. You know what I do to people who don't learn the first time? I kick their asses. Oh. I thought I could try the fake out, but I guess not. We're just gonna. We're just gonna. Oh, his health was huge. Whoa! Boosh! Ooh, that was some nice dabblage. Konoyaro. Too eager, mate. Too eager. Too eager. <laughs> you ain't no pitch man, are you? No, but I would like to pitch an idea. You ready to listen? Fine. What do you want? I'm working for a casino looking for bouncers. They asked me to bring you there. Look, I'm a pro boxer. One of my opponents died in the ring and then some other stuff happened and... Well, they forced me out. Why would you want somebody like me as a bouncer? Wouldn't it be a shame to let those fists of yours go to waste? I want to go back to boxing, to get back in the ring. I wouldn't mind doing some bouncer work, but in return, you got to find some way to get me back in the game. And I can't help you with that. That's something you have to do on your own. So that's how it is. Look, I understand how you feel. Just keep believing in yourself, and sooner or later you'll get the, your chance. The important thing is to stay strong. But if you're out of shape when your chance finally comes, you'll never find a way back into the ring. It might sound like I'm trying to feed you a line, but the thing you need to do right now is to keep fighting. Wouldn't it be better to do that as a bouncer instead of causing trouble around town? You know, you're right. Fine. I accept your offer. So where is this place? It's in a building on Park Boulevard. I'll give you the number. You can go there whenever you're ready. 
and I'll get there as soon as I'm sober up a little. And thanks for the talk. Here, you can have this. Thank you. I don't have room for it. Thanks anyway. Hmm, okay. Oh. Kitty San! Gatlin Sendo came by. I was glad to see he's still as big and strong as when he was pulverizing opponents in the ring. Looks to me like he's been training as hard as ever. He even mentioned he wants to get back into the ring someday. And since I'm an expert in forging IDs and creating new identities, I think I might oblige him. Should be a piece of cake. Besides, I'm a huge fan of Sendo's. I get chills up my spine just thinking about seeing him pulverize his opponents again. Now that we have five bouncers, we should be able to deal with any thugs that come our way. I'd like to thank you, so please stop by the casino when you have a moment. Hope to see you soon. I am right here right now, baby. Hello. Ah, oh, look, all my bouncers are here. Get out of here. We got no money for you. Well, remember this. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Thank you, Kiryu-san. I finally rid of those thugs, thanks to you. And the people we've taken in as bouncers found have found new lives in, at this casino. Please accept this as a token of our gratitude. I wish we could give you more. Nice. Now, please enjoy the casino. I will. But not right now. Thank you anyway. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Hey. Hey. Oh, excuse me. Huh? That was a pickpocket. Damn it. You took 40,000 yen out of my wallet. You bastard. Hey, you! I chase? I chase. Fuck! What? Oh, you bastard. Bush. 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 So. Wait, money! Got him. I just missed a thousand yen. Hmm. Did I need to collect it all? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... I couldn't help myself. Whatever. Just give me back my money. <laughs> what? No way. I think... I think I dropped it. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, wait. Found it. It was here all along. <laughs> this is all I've got in my wallet. Hey! Oh, uh, catch you later. Man, you can never let your guard down with these people. With people like that around. Whew! That was that, I guess. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The payphone's ringing. But who's on the other end? Wait, I pick up the phone. Might as well pick up. Why the hell not? Hello. We've taken something important to you. What? If you want it back, buy an Italian necklace at La Marche. Bring it to the pho phone booth in front of Popo and show a street. What have you taken? I suggest you move quickly. Do I have one or did I give it away? I'm sure I have one. He's got something important to me. He said to buy an Italian necklace at La Marche. Then I have to bring it to the phone booth in front of Popo and show a street. Hmm. Do I have one? I'm sure I have one. Yeah. That's an Italian men's necklace. Will that count? Uh, I guess there are two ways to do this. You've got to show a street, or you can detect where he, where the sound is coming from from the phone. Because I mean, they made it loud for a reason. 
I remember being very stuck on it because I was like, what? Where? Where's the sound? It's a very distinct sound. Oh my god, everybody. And there's this guy on the phone. Hey, you and I need to talk. What? Wh wait, I know that voice. I figured you might. You're the one who's been calling public phones and leaving me instructions, right? So, uh, how'd you know? If you're gonna call, you should have done it someplace quieter. That's how you figured out I was here? Ah, oh, well, doesn't matter. I can always get my money the old-fashioned way. I just beat it out of you. Hey, yeah, speed running, sub stories. So I would assume he takes you on a wild goose chase. we go. Biatch! Tiger drop him to death, man. Gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry! Good for you. Are you going to give me back whatever you took? Oh, uh, uh, I don't actually have anything. Usually when I tell them I've got something of theirs, people just bring me stuff. No questions asked. Or they try to find me and chew me out. That's when I lead them to my friends and we take whatever they've got. I'm really sorry. Here, oh, is you? Would this be enough to make up for everything? Sure. Making my money back from the hostesses. Uh. <laughs> you know what? We're here. We might as well look for that revelation before uh, the next chapter. So, I think it's somewhere around here. Ah, here we go. Hmm? Oh, dear. This apparent ninja selling pocket tissues, like Max said. Feet of the secret of dealing with crowds. Hey! She was wearing heels, man. That's not exactly flat feet. Uh, but okay. Guess that makes it more impressive, I suppose. I've been using this move a lot, so. <laughs> you know. Whoosh. <laughs> This move is great. Another revelation. I saw a charismatic woman passing out tissues and, well, that's all I'll say. This was ten times more amazing than any CG effect I've seen. Though, definitely worth a look. Go and see it for yourself if you're up in Kamurocha. Hell yeah, essence of terror. Nice! Uh, whoa! Nanya. This is the end of the line. Single file, please. Nah, I'm cutting, I'm cutting, I'm cutting. Mm. Problem lies in your former life. The same is true of your father. He complains of pain in his leg, does he not? Eh? Yeah, he said something recently about it being hard to walk. A fortune teller? Uh -huh. Do you want me to read your fortune? If so, please get in line. Everybody must wait their turn after all. No, I... Hey! Your face! It features are fascinating. Come here for a moment. How about I give you a special reading? Learn my destiny! Sure. I'll give it a try. I've done this once before and she was actually right on the money, so... Well, I haven't become a taxi driver, so I guess she wasn't alright. <laughs> I am working with kids, though. I do have a lot of kids now. <laughs> So you? 
a wise decision. Sometimes you must make quick decisions because you never know when you'll have the same chance again. I'm sorry, but I have to stop here. I'll finish the rest of your reading after I read his fortune. What? Well, you'd better. <laughs> now, could I have your name? Just write it on this piece of paper. Kiryu. Kazuma. Ah, this is the name of a hero. You have the wisdom and resources to be a great victor, but your name foretells a temp tempestuous future. Oh. I can't read a man like you from just a name. I need your physio phys 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 physiognomy and palm reading. I should probably look into your past life too. Kid you, can you please stop clipping through the table? I usually charge 150,000 yen for this, but for an interesting man like you, it's only 120. Mmm. Do I have to? Do I have to? I have to. Okay. If what you said is true, I've got to hear what's next. <gasps> well then, do you mind paying then? Up front? Here. All right, thank you. Now, for your fortune. Let's see. First, let's start mm. with your palm. Oh, what lovely hands. I see it now. You are a hero. But as a hero, you must never forget there are many people supporting you. I got it. I also see you are being fooled by someone you trust. What? But it's better to continue being fooled. You'll be happier that way. You must not let suspicion take over your heart. Well then, come back whenever you feel lost. I'll shine light on the path to your future. Well, that was pretty cheap. That wasn't very helpful to me, if I'm being honest. No. Um, excuse me. Did you have your fortune read by that fortune teller? That's right. I overheard some people near the arcade on Nakimichi Street complaining about getting cheated out of their money by that fortune teller. Is that so? I don't know all the details, but they said something about her charging a lot of money and then just spouting off some generic babble. They're probably still there. Why don't you try going to the arcade on Nakimichi Street and talking to them yourself? Okay. I can do that. More people swindling, swindled by that fortune teller. I better get to the video arcade on Nakimichi Street. Yep. Yeah. What's up with the fortune? There's no way it's right. My friend said she was good too. What's this about a fortune teller? Oh, it's outrageous. I should go give her a piece of my mind. She said she'd give me a special reading, then trick me out of 150,000 yen. <coughs> I can't believe I paid 30,000 yen for that. Do you know what I could buy with 30,000 yen? Go to go get my money back. We must have gone to the same fortune teller. What? Did she get you too? We really ought to all go complain to her together. I won't rest until I tell her what I think of her. Sounds good. <coughs> Let us know if you see her again. I'm going to slap her silly. Let's, let's not go that far, ladies. I will go talk to her, though. <laughs> all right, now. One at a time. I put your wages in here, and then I want you all back next time we do this. <laughs> it's so easy. We, just, we get money just for lining up? Call me whenever you need help. I will. In fact, we might have a TV station filming out here next week. I'll definitely call on all of you then. Oh, she's paying them to line up to make her look popular. <laughs> okay, I'll make sure to say how good you are. Thanks to all of you, I've found a mark willing to pay 120,000 yen. So I've given you each a bonus for 1,000 yen. Wow. She just openly said it. All right. What's going on here? <gasps> <gasps> it's you! What's with all these people? What's it to you? You seem pleased with my fortune, if I recall correctly. I'm not asking you to give me my money back. I just want you to stop paying people to make it look like you have satisfied customers. Do you have a problem with the way I do things? Keep talking like that and I'll introduce you to my charming sons. 
You should know that my boys aren't like the puny waifs you normally deal with. Oh, boys? Would you come here for a moment? This man wants to talk to you. Hello, boys. What is it, Mum? Is this man accusing you of something? Yes. Give this man a scolding, please. <laughs> Would you like me to read your fortune now? Why, I predict a very unpleasant experience in your near future. Wow. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? Oi, 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 oi. Oh, wow, we. Bush. Kadush. Eldest son. Eldest son dealt with. Why ya wa ba 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 ba? God damn it. Stop. Third son. My health! Bastards! <laughs> uh. oh. Looks like your fortune was wrong. Again. Uh. Oh, come on! This is how the world works! You make a little line of customers in front of your store and make it look popular. Soon people will start talking about it. Then you just wait like for idiots like you to show up and take their cash. That's pathetic. Mm. But as far as fortune telling goes, I'm not a fraud. I used to be a famous fortune teller. I was right about you, wasn't I? I told you you were being fooled by someone. <laughs> that person was me! <laughs> not funny, huh? Anyway, I've lost my flair for fortune telling lately, which is why I've been running this little gig. But you made me realize this is a good time for me to retire. The world doesn't need fortune tellers who can't read fortunes. It's good to know when to stop. You based your business on deception, but your fortunes themselves weren't half bad. Oh, no. oh, a man who recognizes quality. The moment I saw your face, everything just came together. I felt the old energy I used to feel. Mm. But I'm tired of all this. I'm going to live the rest of my days peacefully with my sons. Please just forget Boop. I was over here. Don't tell anyone you saw me. Got it. I can keep a secret. Do I get my money? Mm -hmm. Where's that fortune teller? I know I heard the voice of hers. Yeah. There you are! How'd it go? Did you find her? Actually... I want my money back. What does it say? Mm, I can get more money if I don't. <laughs> I couldn't find her. I don't think she's hanging around here anymore. Mm. Oh, I swear I heard her voice just now, though. Let's try over there. I'm getting my 30,000 yen back, you hear me? Can I find her again? I wonder where she would be. Oh. Darn, 
I don't see her anywhere. Aww. Maybe she ran away. Maybe someone found out she was lying. Yeah. Let's try over there. I'm not going to let her get away with my money. Oh. I know. Did you just help us get away? Who, me? You're a good man. I'm confident something good will happen to you. <laughs> well, then, goodbye for real this time. Let me thank you by giving you this. Thank you. Apparently I can flog this for more money than they would give me. No, I would get my money back, but this way I can get a little extra on top, which... I mean... I want that. <laughs> You don't say. You don't say. I'll sell that as well, hey. And 200. There we go. Get me some money. Arigato. I don't need a men's necklace anyway. Petui. Braised pork in a burger? Oh my god. I didn't get it after all. That's right! The Graveur model Unisan wrote about her obsession with it on her, on her blog. Ever since then, we've had droves of people coming in, asking for the braised pork burger. I never knew blogs could be so influential. Heck, these burgers are selling better than when we were running commercials about them. It's the meld in your mouth meat that, that's the kicker. Once you take a bite, you're hooked. A pork burger that's gained popularity through bloggers, huh? Should remember this when I'm over at a cabaret club. Yeah. My goodness, I completely missed that one, eh? Tate-san! Hmm. I'm ready to go now! Kiryu. Kiryu. What took you so long? Sub-stories. Sorry, Tate-san. I got here as fast as I could. Don't worry about it. Gotta say, though. Tell me you're ringing you up is a pretty unexpected development. Yeah. Hopefully meeting him will clear some things up. Hope so. And don't forget that Tammy is one of the biggest political figureheads in the country. Who knows what he could be planning? In other words, we should be ready for anything. You about good to go? Am I? I hope so. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. Great. Time to swing by the Millennium Tower, then. Uh, maybe I'll buy some sushi sets first. <laughs> I know what's coming. Okay. Okay, now I'm good to go. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I see a car! It's probably for us. Let us go to the car, but I'm gonna save before that. Okay, cool. Just wait. Shush, shush, shush. Let's go! Let's go! Hello! Ah, you must be Kiryu Kazuma-sama. Yeah, and you're Tamiya's driver, right? Actually, his secretary. You can call me Higaki, sir. And you? You're from... The media, yes? Yep. Name's Date. From the Keihin News. Used to hang my hat with the force, though. That's how I know Kiryu. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid I can't allow a reporter to... Now hold your horses. What we have here is a prominent government official arranging a private meeting with an ex-chairman of a major crime syndicate. If you don't let me come, I'll have to write an article based on that info alone, and who knows what kind of c conclusions I could draw from that. But... Sorry, but I think it's for the best if you let Date-san come with us. We promise he won't write anything he hears today. Right, Date-san? Yeah, sure. Very well. Please get in the car when you're ready, sir. I'm ready. Alright, let's go. Very well, sir. Just get in the car and we'll be on our way. Oi.
思っていたより若いなそっちは京浜新聞社の伊達だ鈴木と登場会の癒着を追っていた<笑>あの有名な元刑事の分野か<音声>お前らも一杯やるかいや<音声>お前沖縄の例のリゾート予定地で養護施設をやってるんだってなああそれが原因で堂島大吾も土地買収の話を断ったそうじゃないか何が言いたいお前とこの民谷隆三互いに利害が一致してるってことだどういうことだ開発が止まればいいと思っているああそうだ俺もあのリゾート開発が止まればいいと思っているな何だとあんた何を言ってるんだあのリゾートがなければあんたは基地拡大法案を通せないんじゃないのかそうだなだがそれはもういいんだもういいなぜ簡単だあの法案俺は初めから通す気がなかったからだ何だと聞かせてくれ沖縄の基地拡大とリゾート開発そのすべてについてうん俺もお前たちに頼みたいことがある何を聞きたいんだ What should I ask about? I did start eating popcorn. This is the boring bit where it's all exposit expository stuff. So, the purpose of the military expansion bill. And I'll carry on eating my popcorn, shall I? Anta no Okinawa Beigun Kichi Kakudai no Honto no Nerai Teno and Nananda. Hm. 俺の本当の狙いそれは世界で暗躍する組織の正体を暴きその組織を潰すことだ利権絡みのマフィアか何かかそんな簡単なもんじゃない俺が追いかけているのは通称ブラックマンデーと呼ばれている組織だブラックマンデーそれってあの伝説の武器密輸組織のことじゃないのかさすがは分野だよく知ってるな1987年あの世界大恐慌の引き金になったニューヨーク株式市場の株価大暴落を裏で操っていたとさえ言われる武器商人アンドレ・リチャードソンを中心とした武器密輸集団通称ブラックマンデー俺はその正体を知るためにあの沖縄米軍基地拡大を仕掛けたブラックマンデーの正体を知るためだとどういうことだ知っての通り基地拡大の最大の目的は日米で共同開発する BMD の配備だその開発の裏では超単位の金が動いている設計図だけでもとてつもない価値を秘めているんだとてつもない価値日本の最先端の技術とアメリカの兵器開発のノウハウの結晶沖縄の基地拡大法案による新 BMD 配備は他のどの国が逆立ちしても売ることができない最強の防衛兵器の誕生を意味する実現すれば中東を含めたアジア一帯の国々は今後十数年日本に手出しすることはできないそんなものが沖縄に日米共同開発の BMD は世界の防衛バランスを変えるほどの代物なんだと一応世界的にはそういうことになっている一応だとああそうだそういった風評があることが重要だったんだどういうことだ
世界最新の兵器開発それを欲しがる奴らが動き出すってことだまさかその欲しがってる奴ってのがブラックマンデーその通り世界中に武器を売りつける武器密輸組織ってのは常に最先端の技術を欲しているもしその技術が日米以外の国に流れたら世界の防衛バランスを崩壊させるほどの技術奴らが指をくわえたまま見ているはずがない新 BMD はブラックマンデーをおびき出すための餌ってことか沖縄の基地拡大法案はあくまでそのブラックマンデーってやつを誘い出すためのダミーだったとダミーとはいえ俺は本気で法案を通す形が必要だったそのために俺は鈴木にリゾートの話を提案し奴に利権を一手に渡すと持ちかけ基地拡大法案とセットの形で進めてきたつまり俺以外全ての国民を騙す必要があったんだそのくらいのことをしなければならなかったんだよだがあんたはもう法案を通す気がないと言ったなそれはつまりああようやくブラックマンデーの尻尾をつかむことができたというわけだじゃああんたの目的は花から鈴木との総裁選にはなかったってことかそんなものは小アッパの政治家気取りが欲しがるもんだ俺には全く興味がないうんだがアメリカも関わるほどの大掛かりな作戦あんた一人で実行できるもんじゃねえだろその通りだそれについても話しておかなければならんなほかに聞きたいことはあるかそれで、タミヤが来たのは、ブラックマンデー。ブラックマンデー。Their leader, Andre Richardson, would no doubt be drawn in by the BMD system they're proposing for Okinawa. In other words, the only reason Tamiya was so insistent on the military expansion was so he could stamp out ブラックマンデー。Once and for all. He has to be working with someone, though. Someone with the connections to the US. Army. That person holds the key to all of this. What should I ask about? Who shot Daigo? Daigo was the man who 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 まて、風間だとそいつが堂島大吾を撃ったのか何か知っているのかうん俺の知っている風間とお前らの知ってるその男が同一人物ならの話だが教えてくれあんたの知っている風間ってのは一体誰なんだ風間ジョージお前のいた登場会の元幹部風間組組長風間慎太郎の実の弟だおやさんに弟が知らなかったのかああそうかやはり風間は肉親の話をしてなかったのかやはりああ両親を早くに失った風間にとって弟ジョージは血を分けたただ一人の兄弟何者にも代え難い存在だったからなうん風間にとって弟ってのがそんなに大切なんだったら桐生には話していそうなもんだがな仲がいいだの悪いだのは関係ないそういった普通の兄弟関係でいられるような間柄じゃなかったんだあの兄弟はどういうことだあの二人は決して交わることのない道に進んだからなまさか風間の弟の職業って警察だ元警察庁長官官房国際部国際課今の外事課の刑事だったそれってエリート中のエリートじゃないか
<笑>エリートかまあ元警察官のお前からしちゃそうかもしれんなだが不思議なものだ同じ釜の飯を食い日本という国の未来を共に案じた人間が片やこうして議事堂の真ん中で昼間から酒をかくらい片やアメリカのために必死に動いてるんだからな何言ってんだあんたもしかしてジョージと俺は警察庁の同期唯一無二の親友だ何あんたと風間の弟が今回の沖縄に絡んだ一連の事件も全ては俺とジョージで仕組んだことだったんだ仕組んだだと一体どういうことだ俺が計画の絵を描きジョージは組織を使ってそれを実行したじゃあおやっさんの弟が大悟を撃ったというのも計画のためだったというのかおそらくは風間の弟の組織ってのは何なんだ今も警察の下で動いてるのか違うあいつはもう日本の警察の人間じゃないじゃあ今は何をあいつはアメリカの CIA アメリカ中央情報局の極東担当の諜報員だ他に聞きたいことはあるかそそそそそジョージ・カズマ So, Tamiya and Joji Kazuma, an agent with the CIA and the younger brother of Shintaro Kazuma, because that's not contrived at all, are working together to bring down an arms smuggling syndicate called Brakumunde. But if that's the case, why did Kazuma no Oya san's brother shoot Daigo? I need to know what the CIA is really after here. <sighs> Carry on. Anta no Tanomi Taiko t o t e n o a 何なんだ二人の男を救ってやってほしい誰なんだそいつらは一人は俺の秘書だった男トーマ秘書だったってなんで過去形なんだトーマは2週間前勝手に俺の秘書を辞めたよどうしてだトーマは俺の基地拡大法案の裏にある本当の狙いを知ってしまっただからリゾート開発計画を動かせる男にすり寄ったそれは誰だ極道だよ何搭乗会直系白鵬会会長峰義孝だ峰がおいそれはどういうことなんだこうなった以上トーマから峰に秘密が漏れる危険が高いその前にあいつはトーマの口を封じようと動くはずだあいつそれがあんたの言うもう一人の男かそうだそうならないようあんたに止めてほしいんだその男とは風間ジョージだほかに聞きたいことはあるか Sorry, I didn't catch any of that. <laughs> I was trying to convince my brother that buying a drawing tablet for tracing is a stupid idea and a waste of money and a waste of a perfectly good tablet. He's not convinced. Apparently, Toma joined up with Mine once he learned what Tamiya was really after. And now, Joji Kazuma is trying to silence Toma before he can spill any of Tamiya's secrets. So it looks like I'll need to stop Joji. But why did to Toma join Mine in the first place? And what does Mine have to do with the resort? I need to know more. I'm going in order, bitch. Be patient. Kazama no Oya san no jis no ototo. Sono otoko ga CIA no chow ho in toste Nihon de katsudo shite il to. Lei no buki mitsuyu soshiki. CIA wa are wo oi kake te iru. 俺はジョージと協力してブラックマンデーの尻尾を掴んで潰そうとしているんだ
じゃあ風間の弟は日本の警察を辞め CIA に入り今はアメリカのために活動しているとああだがそんなやつがどうして次々と謎の発砲を繰り返すようなことしたんだやはり大悟や中原といった人間を撃ったのはおやっさんの弟なのか分からんだがその可能性が高いなぜそんなことを今回の一件 CIA の諜報員への命令は1沖縄をめぐる基地拡大法案に絡んだブラックマンデーの動向を探ること2そのために障害となる対象はそのことごとくを排除すること排除だその任務のために土地買収を断った人間を撃ったとああだが CIA の諜報員はジョージだけじゃないすでにお前も何度か命を狙われているはずだまさかあの黒スーツの男たちそうお前を襲った外国人は皆 CIA が手を回した諜報員だお前は沖縄のリゾート開発を中止させようと動いていたからなそれじゃもしかして柏木を撃ったのも CIA だおやっさんの弟はどうしてどうして日本人なのにそこまでしてジョージにとって CIA は己の生きてきた人生の全てだ全てお前らに話しても分かるまいが今から30年前日本という保守的な国家で警察官の肉親に極道関係者がいるとなればそれだけで迫害を受ける時代だったジョージは実の兄が極道しかも登場会という大組織の顔役であることが原因で自分の正義を貫くことすらできず警察を去ったそんなジョージに手を差し伸べたのがアメリカという国だった能力があれば国籍や人種を問わない自由の国でジョージは新たな人生を手に入れたんだだから CIA のためならばどんなことでもやると他に聞きたいことはあるか So the CIA needed the military expansion bill to stay afloat so they could lure Black Black Monday out into the open. And it was under CIA orders that Joji shot Daigo for refusing to take my land. Guess the CIA is almost like a second family to him now, after what happened during his time on the force. That explains why he's loyal. He's so loyal to the US government. Minnie! トーマが基地拡大法案を通過させるためにリゾート開発の土地買収を頼んだ先があのミネだというのかそうだその話はおかしいな死んだ柏木の話によればリゾート開発の土地買収を進めていたのは鈴木と風間それに風間とつながってる登場会の組織ってことになるはずだうんだが事実はそうではないそもそも2年前の玉城組の土地買収騒動以来リゾート開発の土地買収は行われていなかった何だとじゃあなんで風間は中原を撃ってまで土地の権利書を奪ったんだ基地拡大法案を進めるためだリゾート予定地の買収が進まなければ同時に基地拡大法案も止まってしまうそうなればブラックマンデーの尻尾がつかめないだから強引な手段で土地の権利書を中原という男から奪い土地の買収を推し進めようとしたんだ登場会を使ってかああ CIA は堂島大吾を動かすためネックとなっていた朝顔がある土地の権利書を奪い土地買収の協力を持ちかけただが大吾は土地の買収を断っただから撃たれたのか
そういうことだそしてトーマはミネにリゾートの土地買収の話を持ちかけたトーマはリゾートの利権そのすべてをミネに渡すという条件で協力するよう求めたんだろう利権のすべてを渡すだとそんなことしてトーマに何のメリットがあるんだトーマという名前から奴が沖縄の人間だということは知ってるなああ一年前直接本人から聞いた今から3年前トーマは沖縄の発展を夢見て政治の世界へと足を踏み入れたそこでトーマは沖縄の米軍基地拡大とリゾート計画のことを知り沖縄のためになるならと喜んで働いたあいつは沖縄を豊かにしたいと話していたトーマの目的は最初から沖縄の発展しかないあいつは1年前にリゾートの土地買収とヤクザがつながっていることが発覚しそうになった時にも基地拡大まで共倒れにならないよう俺を搭乗会の道島に引き合わせ丸く収めさせただがあいつは初めから基地拡大のことはどうでもよくてリゾート開発計画のことしか頭になかったんだじゃあトーマは道島大吾とあんたを引き合わせた時に搭乗会の連中ミネとも知り合ったというのはだがやつは1年経って法案がフェイクであることを知ってしまっただから強行に土地買収を進められる力を求めて白鵬会にすり寄っていったトーマとミネは互いの利害が一致して手を組んだんだなるほどなだがあれだけ六代目に忠実だったミネが搭乗会を裏切ろうとしていたとはなミネという男はよくわからん今回の一連の騒動で搭乗会の事実上のトップはあの男のはずだ黙っていればより上のポストが約束されているのに何を考えているのか So, Kazuma no Oyo-san's brother and the CIA were promoting the military expansion bill to destroy Burakumunde, while Toma and Mine were throwing their weight behind the resort. I think I finally started to see the whole picture here. At least someone is. Okinawa no resort k e k a k o z o k o s u r Toma to Mine. So, then, CIA to Anta no Mokteki. Yoyaku eo kaita yatsuga mie te kita na. ジョージを止めてくれ止める CIA の任務を止めろというのかそうだトーマを守ってやってほしいどうして CIA はトーマを殺す必要があるんだ奴は知りすぎたんだこの法案の裏に CIA が関与していることもそして法案がフェイクだということもなじゃあ CIA はそのことを封印するためにああ俺はトーマを殺したくはないできればあの二人を助けてやりたいんだでもトーマはあんたの計画を邪魔した男だろうどうして今になってかばうようなこと強い信念を持った人間はいずれ大きな志を抱くそしてそれを実現する俺の恩師が教えてくれたことだトーマは純粋でまっすぐだあれはいずれ良い政治家になるでもそれだけでそれだけじゃねえんだよ伊達さんんこのさ食えないやつだが自分の部下を見殺しにできない古いタイプの人間のようだそうなんだろわ<笑>かった今トーマを止めれば土地買収も終わるおやすさんの弟には返さなきゃならない借りもあるからなやってくれるかあんたのためじゃない俺はただ
朝顔を失いたくないだけだいいだろうじゃあお前がトーマをジョージから守ってくれたら沖縄のリゾート開発は俺の手で完全に止める約束しようトーマは今どこに沖縄だ地元の県議会の議員との会合に向かってるはずだ<笑>日本の極道にもまだこんな男がいたとはなだが問題はここからだうん何かあったのか鈴木の SP だ何すでにトーマが手を回していたようだどうするキリュウ行くしかないんだろうなそうなんだろうああそうだ行くしかないあの SP とやらどこまでやっていいんだあの SP はあくまで鈴木の紙幣好きに暴れて構わん暴れた責任は取ってやる一つ聞きたいんだが何だあんた興味ないって言っていたが政治家ってのは皆総理大臣になりたいもんなんじゃないのかじゃあ逆に聞くが組長ってのはなりたいと言ってなるものなのかトップとは何かをなしそれを積み重ねてきた人間がいつの間にか勝手になってるものだろう違うか<笑>確かになよし行くかああ俺すげえ数だぜだてさここは俺が何とかするあんたは裏口から出て行ってくれ何だとあんたは記者だ名刺を見せれば裏から出られるはずだだがそれじゃもし俺が捕まったら真島の兄さんにあんたから今聞いたことを伝えてくれキリュウ頼んだぞおっごーだ Oh god, this is the worst bit in the whole game. Why? Because if you get too close to the guys surrounding you with the riot shields, they will push you back. So you're just. Oh, wow. And I'm on legend! Oh, God! See, like that. Fuck you, man! I just want to step on him! Give me the stun gun! <laughs> Fuck you! I just want this! No! Bush. I didn't even know I was gonna do that, but I did. Ah, my health! Oh my god! Nope. See, this is why I bought a fuck ton of sushi. Lovely. Oishi ne? Fuck you! I can't see! I gotta grab someone and they fuck me up. Okay. Fuck you, man! 
See, oh, I hate that. I hate that. Bro, really? Really? I swear to fucking... Oh, no. Really? Oh, my God! I just want to get the guy with the taser, bro. That's all I want to do. Uh, uh, For fucking real! Fuck! <laughs> Why can't I grab him? Well, that worked, I suppose. Fuck you. Why? 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 I so want to use the golden pistol so bad. Fucking hell, bro! This is fucking brutal. I can't grab anyone on the stairs. Come down here. Now come on, we'll move the we'll move the crowd so then we're on flat footing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's better. Give me that. No, never mind. I'll take you. I need to heal, like right now. Nope. There's another taser on the floor. I need to get it before someone else does. Yup. Or not. That's fine. Ay! Baka, yaro! No, 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 no. Oi. Hontoni. You can't block a taser! I didn't mean to do that, but it happened. Oh my goodness. Fucking hell. Kill me now. Actually, don't. I don't want to have to go through all that exp position again. Oh my god. Where'd the taser go? It's gone. Well, that's annoying. Oh, come on! Ah, you picked it up, did you? Really? Oh my goodness. Fuck you! Yeah, bitch. I'll take that. No. Oh, he has nunchaku. That explains shit. Good thing I bought my pack lunch. <laughs> Is he dead now? Fuck, man! I can't get out of the way! Really? Just stay down! Oh my god, that was so stupid! That was bullshit!
second just when you need him <laughs> can you just imagine how it was happening he was doing whatever that day son comes in out of breath what the hell's going on that day uh, it's kitty kitty chan yeah he's at the diaper <sighs> he's surrounded by guys you need to go help him what <laughs> like Oh, I can finally use that license I got for driving those trucks around. <laughs> I got them decked out and everything, I gotta show off. <laughs> and then he goes in. He saves. <laughs> Love that man. He's wonderful. <laughs> That's like the only redeeming quality of this uh, this whole chapter because it was just boring exposit, expository crap, right? And then a bullshit fight, absolute bullshit. And then Majima, the one highlight. <laughs> Let's carry on anyway. That lovely, like. <laughs> Nanosecond of Majima popping up for no reason, I don't know why. <laughs> 